Hello there and welcome to this new video. In today's video, we have a very exciting feature to look at. We'll be seeing how you can connect cloud terminology services to WordFast Pro 5. And doing that won't cost you a penny more. So this is very interesting. And this can be very interesting for teams of translators, for individual translators, and it is a lot easier to set up than you think. So follow me in this video to learn more. So to get started with the process, I'm going to explain first a few key aspects. Uh, if you're already familiar with that, or uh, if you've been attending the conference, uh, the WordFast conference today, you've been learning about that, or uh, if you just want to fast forward to where I'm going to explain the actual process, check out the video description. I'm going to put uh, the exact time in there. So now let me explain these uh, few key aspects. And talking about keys, uh, we want to know here that everything is based on an API key, which basically is a line of letters and numbers that you will copy and paste in the process. Uh, this key will be generated by WordFast Anywhere and you will paste it in WordFast Pro 5. And by doing that, both will be connected. Now, the API key that you will have created will have attached to it one translation memory and one glossary. Or it could have just one TM alone or one glossary alone. And that will be for only one pair of languages per API. Of course, uh, if you want to create many different keys and do it with different pair of languages, you can do it by creating a different key each time. You can have up to 10 different API keys in one WordFast Anywhere session. So if you decide to go ahead with this, this will make your WordFast Pro 5 even more powerful because once you connect your API keys, you will be able to right in all your remote TMs at the same time and right in all your glossaries at the same time. Now you may think, wow, that's cool, but what can it be actually useful for? Well, here are a few scenarios that we can be looking at. For short there, let's say that TM means TM and glossary both together. So you can have two or more WordFast Pro 5 users that can be connected on the same TM hosted on WordFast Anywhere, and they can use it simultaneously. Uh, this can also enable different translators to be working on the same TM, some from WordFast Anywhere and some from WordFast Pro 5. Uh, this system can also allow a single user to work from WordFast Pro 5 connected to a remote TM hosted in WordFast Anywhere as a backup or to continue working on it from WordFast Anywhere if he has to leave his computer behind on travel, for example, or anything else. Or you can also have one team that can be all using the same TM, be it from WordFast Pro 5, or be it if they use all WordFast Anywhere. And there are many other scenarios that uh, maybe you can think of. So now that we have explained all of this, let's get on with the actual process. So we'll start from WordFast Anywhere, and you need to have an active session in WordFast Anywhere. If you don't have one, just create one. It's really easy and it's free. First, you need to go to the TM and Glossaries tab and go to Setup, and you just click on that. As you can see here, I have two translation memories and two glossaries. So let's look at number two. As you can see, it has only two entries in it. And if you look at glossary number two, it only has one entry in it. So there are no jokes here about number twos, all right? So what I did here is I have already created an API key that's already connected in WordFast Pro 5. By the way, you can connect TMs and glossaries with an API key both if they have entries or if they are empty. So now what I want to do is to connect this TM1 and this glossary1, which are both empty. So I need to create an API key. To do that, I need to go to Manage Sharing. So I'm clicking on that. 
And as you can see here, I already have an API key that I created previously, as I was saying. So if you take a quick look here, what I'm going to do is give you a tip. So let's say I copy this and I paste it here in the file so I can keep a track of all the API keys I have. All right. So let's now create a new API key. So I need to click here on add. And here I'm going to choose a TM. So I'm going to go with cloud one, which is my TM number one. And here I can choose the privilege. So override TUs is what I want because I want to be writing in it. Glossaries. Now I'm going to add one. So I click here and same thing. I'm going to select my gloss cloud number one. And I'm going to see it's added here and I want to add them. So now what I want to do is just click on save and there you go. So now there is a new API key available. So if I compare both API keys, I can see here that the new one is the one that went on the top. So I'm going to click in there and I'm going to copy this API key and I'm going to save it here in my file so that I'll be able to find it later on. Uh, if I want to share it with someone or if I want to do anything else with it. So uh, I'm going to um, here write a few things so I can come back to it later. So I say here what's in it. So it's connected to Cloud TM1 and Cloud Glossary 1. So I just need to uh, save my file and I can get on with the rest. So I can see here I have my two entries and my new entry on top. So let's just close that window and click on save. And the next step now is to go in WordFast Pro 5. So we are going to do that right now. And now that we are in WordFast Pro 5, uh, here is a file I've been working on. And I'm going to go to the menu WordFast Pro and I'm going to choose current project. So WordFast Pro and current project. So just click on that. And now I, I want to go to the project TM tab. Now I want to click on connect to remote. And that's going to bring this dialogue where I have three tabs and I want to select the WFA server tab. And in here, when it, where it says symbolic name, I'm going to give it a name. So that's going to be cloud TM1. As here, as I said before, I have already put an API uh, that's called uh, number two. And in here, I'm going to paste the API key. So just pasting it. Now you can click on test to see if everything is going smooth. And here you can see connection successful. I want to set it as primary. Okay, because the other API key that I've put before, I have set the TM as secondary. Now I want to make sure it's selected uh, so I can write in it and not read only because I really want to write in this TM. So let's click on OK. And that's done. So now I see that my cloud TM1 that I've just added is the primary TM and it's hosted on the WordFast Anywhere server. And same thing here with my secondary TM, uh, which has uh, the number two uh, TM connected to it. Okay, so now that's it for the TM. So let's move now to glossary. So you need to click on the project terminology tab. And here, um, as you see, same thing. I have already a glossary in it that's already selected. Uh, and that's from an API key. So now let's add the new one, okay, uh, by clicking on uh, connect to remote. Same thing here. I have three tabs. I go to the WordFast Anywhere ser uh, server tab and I'm going to give it a name yet again. Okay, so Cloud Glossary 1. Uh, it's uh, the target language is French. And same here, I'm going to paste the very same API key. Click on test. I see that it is working. So I want to make sure it's selected so I can write terms in it and not. Uh, on read only. So here I have ticked selected and I click on OK. I wait for a quick bit and now there you go. My cloud glossary number one has been added on the top of the list and it's selected. So I have all my um, remote terminology tools connected. So let's go to project files and start 
to see what it looks like when we are in an actual project. So here uh, I am going to see if I have something in the TM. So let's go to segment number three. And yes, so I see that in my TM number two that I had connected before, I have already a 100% match entry. So this is great. So that's my secondary TM. So I have that in it. Uh, now let's move to the first segment and we're going to see if there is something in the glossary. And as you can see here, Lisbon is detected because it's in my remote glossary. If I, if I click there on the information, I see it's in my number two glossaries uh, where my entry was before. So it's been read and detected perfectly. So no problem there. So let's now get on with actually translating. So I'm going to start uh, translating segment number one and I'm going to see what happens uh, with my TMs. So let's translate that first sentence. Here we can see that Lisbon uh, has been detected. Okay, so it's all good. So now let's... Um, Let's commit that to the TM. So I'm going to now click outside of this segment and I'm going to come back to it to see if there is something in my TMs. And what happens now? Well, let's have a closer look. My entry has been added to both of my connected TMs because I wanted to have them in write mode and both of them have stored what I have written here from um, WordFast Pro 5 and it's been stored in uh, my WordFast Anywhere TM. So it's working perfectly. So let's now tr uh, try to add a term to one of my glossaries. So here in segment number four, I'm going to add tram. So let's have that term here and target in French. I want to have the same thing. Okay, so here I can select my glossary. So I want to write it in glossary number one. And now I just click on OK. Now let's see what happens. It's instantly recognized. Didn't take a second. Just instantly recognized. If I type T here, I already have it here as a placeable. So everything is working very smooth and that's looking great. And I know if you like it, but I think it's very great to have those features connected. So today we really looked at an amazing feature in WordFast Pro 5 when you connect it to WordFast Anywhere. And this video is being released while I'm at the 2018 WordFast Forward conference. And I'll be interviewing some of the developers and I'll be posting these videos on the channel very soon. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, by all means, do so, so you don't miss uh, the interesting content I'll be releasing soon. And uh, if you enjoyed what you've been watching, please leave a like and uh, share it with your friends. And you can even leave a comment below. And um, if you want to watch another interesting video, well, you can click here. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking right here. And I'll be talking to you very soon. Bye-bye.